Welcome back. Here we are, and I am on a mission to clear cut. Now, last video, I unsuspectingly ended up getting the uh, level two axe. I got enough hardwood uh, to get my axe up to level two. So this today, what I am gonna be doing is working towards trying to just clear cut everything, pick up every single little piece of everything to see exactly how long it will take my sprouting trees to grow back. So um, I'm on a mission today and I'm gonna be trying to work pretty quickly just to see how close I can get. And um, my goal is to get 60 softwood and 60 hardwood. And the reason why I'm trying to get that goal is because uh, I can upgrade my marketplace to level, from, from level two to level three. And when I do that, I expect to be able to uh, get um, maybe another person to help out, might drive up my business, might, I might start getting more people around my uh, neighborhood here. So as I create my world, I want to have some more people to uh, hang out with and talk and uh, I think it'll be really fun to have some new characters. So what I'm trying to do here is just clear cut as much as I can, clean up everything, see if I keep it neat and tidy if that helps the trees grow back. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. All right, fingers crossed that we will be able to. It's so cool to be able to cut down these pine trees, get some soft wood here. All right, dig up that stump. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am super excited about being able to come on and just clean everything off. Having my pickaxe and my um, axe up to level two. It's just, it's just really cool. Very exciting. So those were kind of goals and I feel like I've reached them, which it's always nice when you set a goal and you can go ahead and reach them. So my uh, goal was a little bit early, which is great. And let's go ahead and clean up this area over here. And I'm hoping that the trees just shoot right straight back after. So we're doing okay with energy. We'll be asking some questions in a little bit here. Oh, there's another acorn over there. That's great. Okay. Ooh. All right, so collecting stones. We're just about there for collecting stones. Breaking rocks, we have two. And so two more that we will be getting. Um, and this is a continuing continuation video of my last one. I'm playing on the same day. I was so excited. I just could not wait. So we got one of our daily objectives here. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this little corner. Then we'll check the daily objectives and see what they are saying. So. All right. Here we go. Some more weeds. Now remember, the base of the flowers do count as weeds, so when you get those uh, crazy objectives where it says seven, collect 75 weeds, it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy at all. Um, it is possible to get 75 weeds just randomly around, and then also the bottoms of your flowers, so keep that in mind. All right, we're just about out of, out of energy here. Let's see if we can pick up the tops of the flowers. It looks like we can. I don't think we can pick up this. Nope, okay, so let's go check the objectives and see which ones we got. We collected our stones, great, great, great. And we still have to break four more rocks for our last objective for today. So let's go ahead and go to our questions. And this is correct usage of commas. I darted past cars, vans, and trucks or I darted past cars, vans, and trucks. So this is uh, commas in sequence. So the sequence of uh, more than two things that we are breaking up so that we understand that they are part of a sequence are the cars, the vans, and the trucks. So we want our commas to be in between cars, vans. Um, and so B is the correct usage of our commas. All right, next question. Which category do the words below belong to? June, June, March, April. Well, those are all months. So that would be the category of words they are. Tuesday would be days of the week. August would be another month. So let's check our answer. Awesome. 
And this is categories again, soft things. So blanket, stuffed animal, fur, those are soft. Metal, wood, rocks, probably hard things. Snake, cactus, sand. Um, things that you shouldn't eat. I don't know what snake, cactus, and sand should be, but uh, definitely not soft things. All right, let's check our answer. Here we have cold things. Fire, coffee, oven, those should be hot. Drinks, cookies, pizza, those are things that should go in your mouth, unlike the snake. Um, ice, popsicle, snow are cold things. Let's check our answer, awesome. Next question, green foods, kiwi, lime, don't eat crayons. Grass, you shouldn't eat either, save that for the cows. Spinach is a green thing that you should eat. Very good for you, very nutritious. Put it on pizza, it's delicious. Sticky things, honey, tape, and yes, glue is sticky. Water, not if, if water is sticky, don't go swimming in it. And milk is should not be sticky. All right, next question, round foods. Egg, orange, don't eat balls. Grape, yes, grapes are round foods. Marbles, no, keep those away from your uh, face. All right. Red foods, cherries, tomatoes, and strawberries. Ladybugs probably shouldn't be eaten. Let them eat the aphids. Fire trucks, but they're just too large for most of us. All right, next question. So which word does not belong in the category below? So the category is shapes. Square, yes, that's a shape. Circle is a shape. Girl, we don't consider girl um, as a shape. So let's go ahead and check that answer, all right. Foods, the category of foods. Toy, no, toys you play with. Soup you eat, rice you eat. So hopefully you are eating soup and rice, not playing with them. All right. Does not go in the category of vegetables. Pants, pants are not a type of vegetable. If that is news for you, eat more vegetables. Next question, green foods. Yes, kiwi is green. Oh, does not. Lime, yes, it's green. Lemon is yellow. So let's check the answer. All right. We'll do a few more. Days of the week. Sunday is a day of the week. Monday is a day of the week. June is not a day of the week. That is the sixth month of the year. Next question, round foods. Egg is a round food. Orange is a, rice, uh, is a round food. Rice is a short food. Short food, that's weird. Um, ocean animals. Shark and dolphin live in the ocean. Most bears do not. Polar bears kind of swim around in the Arctic Ocean. Um, the field trip was fun. It was not swings. It was not walk. It was fun. Okay, you must slow down when the ye light turns yellow. When the light turns yellow, you should slow down. The what leaves are on the ground. The brown leaves are on the ground. Jumpy leaves, um, not so much. And rake would not be an adjective that would describe. That could be a verb for raking or the thing you use when you rake. All right. Do you like to eat scary fruit, sour fruit, juggle fruit? Sour fruit is probably what they're asking. All right, let's do two more questions to fill up our energy. His new dress shoes are very polished, very shiny, very cheesy. Well, that might work depending on what they look like, um, but probably shiny. And you would use polish to make them shiny. All right. Okay, let's finish this corner, chop some stuff up, and see... How we can go ahead and encourage this tree growth. Figuring out this tree growth is the name of the game. All right. All right, let's get our roses and then clean this up too. No more weeds. All right, get this pine tree all chopped down. Great. Got a stick here. We got the acorn. All right. Here we have flowers. And a stick. Let's get this tree. 
Okay. I just love this music, and I love this playing this game. It's very relaxing. All right. Here we go. Can't wait until there's little bridges across the trails. I hope it connects with like classmates and stuff like that. It would be really neat to be able to visit people's uh, areas. All right, I'll get this rock and then we're gonna go back to the right side. Here we go, come, oh geez, what's going on here? Okay, come on over here. I don't know if we can get the stick. Nope, we can't get the stick, so let's go ahead and chop this down. Alright, then we'll go back and get the stick. I wonder how close I can get to having this place all cleaned up. Alright. These are tulips, I think. Let's get this little area over here first. Okay, it's looking cleaner, isn't it? My next video after this is going to be coming back and checking out and seeing how the trees are growing back. Maybe I'll just try to clean up everything around the trees to hopefully get the trees to grow back a little faster. my students are right and by keeping it clean we can help the trees grow back nice and fast okay let's see how much soft wood we have so this is this that's hardwood we have one hardwood we have 21 softwoods, so cool. I think we'll be at uh, 60 softwood pretty soon, which is great. And then we'll just need a hardwood for, keep on going after the hardwood and making sure as soon as the trees grow back, we're getting them in so that we can get that up to our level three, right? All right. And it's going to be just about time for a little bit more energy, which we're... Sweaty face. All right. Uh, so we're choosing an adjective. I was funny after riding the roller coaster. I was dizzy after riding the roller coaster. Or I was sleep. So sleep would not be an adjective, so that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's go for our next one. Here we go. Please scratch my scratch back. Please scratch my blue back. Please scratch my itchy back. Itchy would describe a back that you want to get scratched. Next question. They should bumpy up their room. They should toys up their room. They should clean up their room. That's the verb that we want. Okay. My family is going to kick to the beach. My family is going to sunny to the beach. My fat pump. Family is going to drive to the beach. That's the verb that we want there. All right. We have to easy the test first. We have to finish the test first. We have to hug the test first. Um, so hopefully you're finishing the test. And even if you do choose to hug it, hopefully you do finish it. We have to jump the dirty dogs. We have to puppies the dirty dogs. We have to bathe the dirty dogs. Get those dirty dogs clean. All right, and let's go ahead and chop, chop, chop. All right. So there's a hardwood tree right there. We got some nice acorns around as well, so I'm gonna keep on picking those up. 
And here we go. All right, we might get some lifetime objectives today. We're collecting so much stuff. Get this rock taken care of. All right. So yeah, we're coming along here and we're getting, uh, I'm going to play for probably about five more minutes, uh, on the video and I'm, I am going to complete this, uh, today just to see, oh, sweaty face, just to see, um, if there is an effect so we can go ahead and explore that together and see if keeping everything clean and tidy and picking up all of the stuff is the way to really help our area grow, help our word, world grow. So we're choosing the best verb. Watch me spin around in circles. That sounds good to me. Watch me dizzy around in circles. Dizzy would be the verb. Watch me spin around in circles until I'm dizzy. Watch me sleep around in circles. Um, so hopefully you're not rolling around in the bed too too much while you're asleep. So let's go ahead and click that. That's the right answer. My grandfather will polish his old shoes. My grandfather will shiny his old shoes. My grandfather will eat his old shoes. Take the shoes away from him if he does start to eat them. Polish is pretty much the only thing you should be doing with them other than wearing them. Please smell my itchy back. Please furry my itchy back. Please scratch my itchy back. Yes, yes. keep your nose away. Um, if there is a smell to it, you might want to get some cream for it. Okay, next question. Choose the adjective that is a stronger way to say happy. So excited would be stronger than happy. Sad would be sort of the opposite. All right, an antonym. Choose the adjective that is a stronger way to say pretty, beautiful, and then ugly would be an antonym. All right. Choose the adjective that is a stronger way to say sleepy, tired, or excited. Tired would be sleepy, would be a stronger way to say sleepy. Um, check our answer. Let's do one more. Choose the verb that is a stronger way to say talk. Speak. Speak sounds uh, much stronger than talk. All right, let's get back to the game. Get our clear cutting in. Get all of this stuff cleaned up. And hopefully have some awesome tree growth this week. All right, I think we just got our last daily objective, which was break a whole bunch of rocks. 10 rocks, let's go ahead and claim that. Up to 150 wish coins, woot woot. All right, let's chop these trees down. So cool, finally getting softwood. So cool. All right. Here we go. We'll mine a little bit over here. Pick up this little section and go find another one. So we're, we're making some pretty good time with uh, getting all of this collected. My uh, little house area is just up north of here. All right. Got some trees down there. I think I'm going to go over to the right, though, and finish picking this up. And I think that's the little lake. That's that little bit of water. So I might just go ahead and wend my way around that. All right. Ooh, and not enough energy. So let's have a one more little energy burst. Uh, maybe five questions. Choose the verb that is a stronger way to say jog. Well, running is faster than jog. So that would, that would be that. Okay. Four more. Choose the verb that is a stronger way to say look, watch. If you're watching someone, you're spending a little bit more time looking at them. Okay, three more. Choose the verb that is a stronger way to say hit, punch. Punching is harder than hitting. Okay, let's check that. Two more. Uh, does the adjective tell what kind or how many? Four is how many something is. And I think this is our last one. Uh, we have nine kittens. That says how many kittens there are. All right, let's go back to the game. And we'll finish up this little bit of energy 
and then we'll go ahead and say goodbye for the day. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys after. And it looks like we're having a pretty successful clear-cut mission. There's another tree down there, which is awesome. And I do want to check my softwood just so I can show you guys where I am with softwood because uh, I might be getting pretty close to 60 after all this chopping. All right, so just about out of energy. Maybe I'll go down and focus on these rocks and then go to the... Oh, there's a whole bunch of rocks here. Um, and then go over to the right once I stop the video. So I am going to keep on playing today um, uh, just to make sure that I can go ahead and get this spick and span all cleaned up. And um, we will go ahead and I'll see you later. Uh, so for softwood, we have 26 softwood. We have three hardwoods. So we are building up, building up uh, in order to get all of that for our next level of, uh, I think it's called the market stall. Um, and we uh, have done a pretty good job of getting this kind of cleaned up. And I'll continue to clean up, continue to chop down once the video stops. Um, thanks a lot for stopping and checking out. Be sure to like and subscribe. And um, come, st stop on by and we'll figure out uh, Prodigy English together, okay? Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.